Inconsistent. Welcome to The Basement. Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome to the basementny.com. I am your host, and by myself, because Noel's being special today, Jose is with <laughs> Jose is with me. That's supposed to be you. Um, <laughs> that that just goes to show you how rusty it's been. Uh, the crazy thing is that we have a guest today. He hasn't been on. You, we haven't been doing. We, we haven't. The first time we did this was for a Puerto Rico special episode, and that was actually like almost like like fourteen months ago. It feels like it was ten years ago, yeah. right? We got we got Steven Sanabria who was with us on a special that we did about Puerto Rico before the Puerto Rican Day Parade and really before Hurricane Maria. Hurricane Maria, I believe, happened like two months after that, two or three months after. No, that. no, 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 no. We did it with the whole after Hurricane Maria. It was. Oh yeah, it was. It's amazing how time. It's amazing how time flies. Um. You're listening to TheBasementNY.com. We're just doing a podcast for now. Um, the introduction that you guys just saw in the beginning, that's something that you guys are going to start seeing a lot of. I'm going to go into that in a little uh, session later on. Um, basically, we've joined a network called Inconsistent Media, and uh, there's going to be plenty of podcasters. And if you want to get in and you're interested in doing your own thing, YouTube podcast, we'll go over that, and uh, you guys can check that out later on on our website. Uh, for now, we're talking all things Puerto Rico again. The video clip I was trying to get you to play, to listen to, was basically Fat Joe talking about how uh, Puerto Ricans that were born here in the mainland um, or the USA, they're not considered Puerto Rican. You are not, you and I are not considered Puerto Rican, right? We're like New York Ricans. We're like, you know what I mean? We're, we're, so, we're all, the foreigners. We're the foreigners. We, you know, we betrayed our country. Yes, we, thing, we, you know? yeah, exactly. And to me, when thinking back on it, I'm like, you know we're part of the same thing, right? I mean, yeah, there are differences, subtle differences, but if anything, those differences shouldn't be something that we point fingers at that you're born, I'm not. Those differences should actually bring us together and say, we should come together and say, listen, it's time for us to change up this arrangement we got with the U.S. because it's not working. I don't know. No, but, no, no, but you know, I get, you know, if he was to come a little more, you know, um, knowledgeable, I do you know, this is just good shit. Fat Joe is exactly what his name is. He's fat. His name is Joe. That's all he's got. Like, he's got, like, two raps every 10 years. That's about it, all right? All right, so let's, let's, let's say that that's what he does. Now, if he would have said, listen, the mentality of a mainland Puerto Rican is different from an island Puerto Rican, absolutely. Without question. I was not raised in an island. I was not raised on an island that has high unemployment rate. I was not raised on an island that's... Uh, that is a commonwealth and that, you know, you feel the separation of, am I American or am I not American? I'm American, but with limits type of thing. And I get that. And that's a good point. But to say that we're not Puerto Rican or we have no, uh, say into what our homeland says, that's a, that, that's a total falsehood. Because once you're born, like, on who you are, you automatically, as a, as a being, as a person, take representation from that, whether you're from Russia, Ukraine, you know, Scotland, Irish, wherever you're born at, you still kind of go to your roots and say, no, that's where I'm from. That's that's who I am. That's what got me. But, you know, Fat Joe trying to be, you know, a political hack, you know, that's the one thing where, you know, he, just, he, he should like shut his mouth and just be more knowledgeable. But there's other people out there, the same thing, that have, have, this, uh, have this issue with with the, the, the Puerto Rican mainlanders and the Puerto Rican islanders, right? Yeah. Like right, like right now, the whole thing is called, which is I, I, I find it funny. So now there's a huge exodus from Puerto Rico, right? They lost like a million people from even before the storm. There the storm just yeah. exasperated yeah. The, the people leaving. So they, so they go. Uh, I, you know, I don't know how to say this word right. They call it uh, the diaspora. Yeah. Or the, right, and that's, and which is funny because that's a, a Jewish term, talking about how the Jewish people left their homeland, Israel, 
But not just left, no, forced out of their homeland, and they went all around the world, and then they didn't have a homeland again. Right. That's not us. No. That's not us. I mean, for all those liberals out there, for all those people who, who are who are going to say, like, oh, um, the, 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 the government of America did this and they exasperated this. Okay, everyone is a fair point. But, where did we go? Where did most of the Puerto Ricans go? Did, did most of the Puerto Ricans go to the DR? Nope. They didn't go to Cuba. They didn't go to Venezuela. They didn't go to Mexico. They went to America, which is their right to go to. They went to their second homeland, which opened, which had open arms and said, yeah, come over here, hang out. None of them were deported. None of them had to get a green card or asylum. They just literally went to the U.S. on the first flight out and went to New York, Florida, Texas. Right. They didn't get on a boat. They were not on a caravan. There was, they just got a plane ticket and flew on over. To a place that, where they said, I'm not American, but yet America said, yo, come over here. You don't need a green card. You don't need no special uh, uh, asking. You don't need no uh, six month visa. You know, like what is it when uh, a country uh, that has a, um, has an issue, then they take a special asylum seeker. They call like a uh, temporary asylum seekers, right? You know, the TFP or something like that. Yeah. Right. And those people are like from Haiti, from Venezuela, from Honduras, you know, all around the world. Like, yo, my country's jacked up. I'm going to come over here for a little bit, but I'll go back when this gets better. We didn't have to do that. We literally just went and said, all right, I'm going to go to Texas with my cousin. I'm going to go to New York with my father. I'm going to go to Florida with my mom's. So it's it's, it's it's interesting because I I hear so many different arguments that are pretty interesting in the sense that there are those that are that lived in Puerto Rico for five, 10 years, born, born there, and they'll agree, yeah, you're not Puerto Rican. And I'm like, what are you saying? I don't know what you're saying because I had, first of all, whether I was born there or born here, the reality is we have an agreement with the United States and... I could go to the states and I could I I have a, I have rights there, right? I'm allowed in. I just get a plane ticket and I fly over. The the one thing that I find interesting, so she'll she'll say no, you're not Puerto Rican. I always try to dis- explain it this way. I try to say, listen, I'm American. I was born in the U.S., the land of the U.S., the physical body land of the U.S. The part of the land of U.S. is the territory also known as Puerto Rico. My heritage is Puerto Rican. The culture I uh, associate with is Puerto Rican, and I associate as 100% Puerto Rican because my parents were both born from there, and they're both 100% Puerto Rican, born from there. So I'm first generation technically, but but to some, um, my mother was considered a traitor because she decided to take advantage of this arrangement we have with the U.S. that we've we've earned, right? I mean, and that's another thing. I, you know, I had this, um, this, this quarter Puerto Rican that she doesn't like being uh, considered Puerto Rican period. She's Dominican. And her thing is like, <laughs> you Puerto Ricans. <laughs> so we're always arguing. Um, I was like, please don't even mention your 25%, please. Um, stay a hundred percent Dominican. And my, and her thing is like, y'all don't even know your history. Would you agree with that? Would Puerto Ricans? Yeah, would you agree that most Puerto Ricans don't know their history? Yes, but most Puerto Ricans do not know their personal history, yes. They know, like, that, you know, in the end, they know Spanish conquest, you know, that we were uh, been traded to the U.S., you know, in a uh, treaty, and then that's it. Then, you know, then we've been, then we've been American citizens ever since uh, the Korean War. You know, that's when we had full citizenship of that. And, you know, those who were looking a little bit, and then you would have those who were from the island, kind of a little bit more of the in-depth government issues. But most part, Puerto Rico do not know the history. Which is fine, because most Americans don't know the history either. So it's, you know, <laughs> it's, a, very common, it's a very common thing. You know, you know, they don't. I don't, listen, listen. I'm so glad you pointed that out because that's well listen, said. Listen, 
it's a, it's a straight up fact. When you talk to people, the only country in the world that those people know their history is China. I don't know. The, I'm gonna tell you why. I don't know the guy's China. name, but on World, you seen the videos of World Star where the guy's asking like questions, like who's the vice president, like, and nobody yeah, knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like that. Go ahead. Well, in China, China, they have an app. This is a, this is a government app, and it talks about all the stuff that China does because history, current events, all that. And the more you answer correctly, the more your status in China becomes. So everyone in China, a billion plus people, do this app thing. So they know their entire history. They make it a game to where, like, all right, I know who my president is. I know who who uh, uh, who the founder of China is. Or the you know the right, the right, the working party family. You know the, the communist party. They, they know all of it. Yeah, and they're proud of it. Yeah, they, they're yeah. proud of it. They, this is who you are. That's mm-hmm. why. They don't, that's why right now they don't play with with any other country. They're like, yo, we are in our own world. We are our own thing. There's a there's one eighth population of the earth. One eighth is of them, Chinese. So to be that big, yeah, yeah, you got to be a little arrogant, you know. Like it's like that. You occupy the rest of the world easily if you just decide to just walk in different directions. Yeah, 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 definitely. I um, so so we haven't I haven't recorded in a while. I'm trying to get back into the groove of things. Um, but. I'm glad that I kind of picked up on this. We've been trying to schedule this for a while now, especially after the announcement of um, Ruseo's um, resignation. That that much anticipated. What was it like? One o'clock in the morning. Typical Puerto Ricans, always last minute, right? Which is funny because he told everyone seven in the morning, and then turned out to be nine, and twelve, and three, and three. And he was like, whatever. Bro. He goes, I'm just trying to keep this as much as possible. I was like, I, I, I listen to the guy. He was the guy. You know, he, he got everyone very responsible. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, so I was we were, I was trying to record right after that to just be, you know, current and, and you know, get those. those. I mean, listen, to record today is even more current because yesterday, mm, okay. the high court in Puerto Rico just rejected the guy he put in place. That's right, and his, be he is uh, this guy uh, Pedro Perlusi. I can't pronounce his last name. I murder names, so let's not be a surprise. <laughs> yes, but he's a politician and lawyer, and yeah, he had to step down yesterday. This I'm looking at a, an article by the ACU. ACLU. This article was written at 10:15 this morning by William Ramirez. Um, and basically he's showing that, yeah, this, this person, um, was, was told to, you know, sit your ass down, son, and, um, putting Wanda Vasquez, um, in the role of acting governor, right? Yeah, that, she's acting, right? acting. So she's, yeah, yeah. she's acting governor. She's been holding it down since, what, last, yesterday, 23 hours ago or something like that? Yesterday? Something like that. Yeah, she's, uh... It's funny because I did a search on her and Wikipedia is like the governor since uh, August 7th. I'm like, yeah, that was yesterday. That was pretty much yesterday. <laughs> There's not going to be much written on Wikipedia about this issue. Um, so one of the controversies about her being in power is that she was part of the the uh, Roseo's, uh, if I'm even pronouncing that one, um, it... Um, that she was part of his administration, part of that whole that whole posse, right? Yeah, no. And, but the worst part about her is that she's in charge of the, the uh, judicial branch of the government, and that side is one of the most corrupted sides. Mm. So she came in saying, I'm going to clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, and nothing happened. So that's why right now, from what I'm hearing, is that they might start protesting again and be like, yo, we already know who you are. We see what you do. Correct. It's all talk. Correct. You want a real person that's going to do something. You want next. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. here's one that I want to up Puerto Rico for because, you know, because personally, personally, this is me speaking, I didn't think the governor should have been ousted, you know, for making rude remarks. He should apologize. He should be like, I'm on a speaking tour, doing the whole line, but not been ousted. But the one thing I don't want to get Puerto Ricans, is that when they protested, they didn't break anything. 
Mm. I was gonna say, days. bro, I don't have viewership. You just turned down the whole island to. What are you saying? No, um, but that's a good comeback. That's true. There was peaceful yeah. protests, and that's it something was you the don't most, see. Yeah, it was the most peaceful protest. They were like, "Listen, we're shut down government. We're shutting the roads. No commerce. We're showing sure it. I like, you know, should have hurt everybody, but guess what? We're not gonna wreck anything. Yeah, we're not gonna break anything. Nothing like that." And that's what a real that's what a real protest of your of yourself of like I'm protesting my own government. I'm not protesting somebody else. I'm protesting my own government, my own people, my own officials, right. my own neighborhood. Right? right? We just, like over here in America, we see in Baltimore. You know, they burnt down black owned businesses. Buried. Almost does that. Seattle they would destroy shit stores. We're doing like crazy. In the Puerto Rico, they were like, listen, we're going to protest the right way, and we're going to get him out there. And, I, and then I was like, all right, if you want to resign because of, uh, how do you see, like, it's just in the best interest of the entire country, go right ahead. Yeah, the thing about Puerto Ricans is that when you put the group of us together on the street like that, they think it's like a Bad Bunny video, and they're like, you know, we might as well make this into a festival and have a party. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be out here ready. And the thing is, they did it. They did it the right way. They all got together. And here's the thing. Like, the party is great. It's like the most common train in the entire city. Yeah. Like, it's it's bad club. But everyone just wants to dance, you know, have fun, you know, get lit, whatever, chill. And it's like, you never really like shooting into that. I was thinking different. Yeah. Go over there. People get shot all day long, man. <laughs> I know. So, I don't know what it is, but big up to Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricans and the islands. They kept it the peaceful. They kept it civil. And then they got what they wanted. So, you know, respect for that. But again, I don't think they should have ousted him for, for, for tweets, for, for, for conversations he had with his friends. Come on, man. I mean, Come you, you, did you read? I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I didn't read oh. it. I didn't even read it. But I just heard from other people. It. I read it. It was all the news. I read it. And show this. They had a few transcripts of the work that you said. I was like, okay. That's messed up. It's all about dead people and it's about gays and all that. And no, no problem. You got you. He, he, said said no problem. Problem. he said no problem. No, because people talk like that. See, people forget. People talk like that all day long. Right. They don't want to say that people are bigger or more civilized. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. You close the door when no one's looking and everyone starts breaking out the N-word and starts cursing like crazy. <laughs> so you, know, and each other. you think you're uh, the only one person. that does that, but you're wrong. You'd be wrong to think that. Bro, every, bro, 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 bro. Everyone does it. They talk about chicks. They talk it's about sex and all that. It's about the hand and ass and all that. No shit, it's just out to your moms. It, 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 it's crazy. And it's fine. Because that's the way people talk normally. You're friends with somebody, you talk normally, and they don't take offense to it. Yeah. But the real reason why these Puerto Rican, and Puerto Rico itself, got all, you know, juiced up, because they're tired, man. They're tired of what the the... America did it to them. Right. And they were in their home. All right, we got the governor out. Let's see if we get a better deal out of this. And no, that's not going to happen. Matter of fact, the deal got even worse. Right now, the governor just told, after the after the governor got excused, the, the, the U.S. government told him to say, hey, listen, every time we give you money, you got a proof to receive the money. Before, it was like, here, here's a check. Spend the money. Build houses, whatever you got Now it's like, let me see what houses you're going to build now. Which point to the three houses you're going to start building, and then we'll give you the money. It got real strength. Yeah. So, I don't I don't know if people are Puerto Rico or think that this is going to change. It's not. You want to get rid of corruption? Great. Get rid of everybody. Right. Well, everybody. I, I, don't know if, I don't know if I agree with you on ousting him 100%. Only in the sense of the point that you made that, all right, somebody had to get it. And the real goal here is the unification of the people to do something. Something has to change. My only thing is, like you're saying, this is 100% or go back home, everybody. Just go back home. Here's my thing. 
the, the, the Avatar is getting somewhere between 45 and $60 billion. I'm sorry. I've been to Puerto Rico. I've seen the way those houses look. You, know, you can build that crap at $2 billion, straight up. Mm. It don't cost 60 to $45 billion. The island? The worth of the island? No, I'm just saying, like, all the houses are beat up, all the houses are wrecked. It's oh. not going to cost $60 billion. If so. Those okay. houses are made of concrete. They're boxes. It doesn't like, you know, mansions over there like that. And if you know what I those people have insurance. They're, like, all that kicks in. So that's why, like, even America's, even Trump, Trump was real skeptical. All right, I'll give you the $60 billion. Fine. You know, you have people that are spending the right way because guess what? We saw what happened to Haiti. Haiti got $100 billion. Well, how much can you look like today? Yeah. Haiti still in the Shot. Because people steal the money. It's inevitable. People are greedy. If you pay me a hundred grand and say you're stealing, I'll fix that school. I'm gonna fix it for five grand. And you can't take a dollar grand. out for a donut, son. You're not gonna you, really <laughs> No. But that's the way Puerto Rico is. You know, they say, all right, here's twenty million, you know, go fix this up. All right, I'm gonna fix it up for one million, I'll put the nineteen million in my in my bank account. Oh, I'm gonna this person with two million my friends. Mm. That's what's going on over there. That's what I'm saying. Every, everyone in government needs to leave. And how do you achieve you them? Got, they got to go. How do you achieve something like that? Are you? Are you? Are, is that considered a revolution? Well, what do you? What do you? Absolutely, yes, absolutely. It's and a, okay. it's a pure government. And on top of that, you're gonna say not only are you out, the new guy you're in, but I'm gonna watch you like a dog. Yeah. That's the problem. We, we stop watching people. We stop watching what people do every day. Yeah, we stop yeah. watching those, those politicians. And then on top of that, they were saying yes to everything. Or oh, yes to free health care. Yes to these pensions are like ridiculous. Yeah. You <laughs> keep doing your votes. No, it, should, it shouldn't be like that. It should be nowhere near that. But guess what? That's what they did. So now you got to reverse. Now you got to go right back to the beginning. All right, guys. It's going to hurt us for the next 10, maybe 20 years. But if we do this right, our children are going to grow up in a better society than we have. It's going to be a people society that we control what goes in, what goes out. The way it's supposed, the way it's supposed to be, as a republic, and we all do it together. Yeah. But right now, you already have to put it in and say, "Hey, listen, you're not Puerto Rican over there." Yeah. How are you going to start the conversation like that? Matter of fact, you should be like, yo, they get out you over there. Yo, your vote in America counts more than mine. So go, vote for the politician that's going to help me out over here. Right. Now, this video, I'm not sure exactly when. Uh, it was a, you know, like a, a I'm not sure. It was something that, that came out. I'm not sure exactly when. I don't think the timeline matters because the perspective is relevant. You know, he, he goes on to say, you know, Boricuas over there, Puerto Ricans that were born over there, they'll tell you over here, Papa Mark Anthony ain't Puerto Rican, Papa. He's not he's not one of us. You know what I mean? Fat Joe ain't one of us. Those, that's not a real Puerto Rican. And Fat Joe goes on to say that he has a problem with that perspective. Uh, it's a short clip. Um, and I think that what you pointed out is like you took the words right out of my mouth where, yeah, if anything, our votes actually are more relevant that we were born yes. here in the mainland because why? Explain it to them, please. Well, Puerto Rico, you know, they have a governor, but they have no, they have no representation in Congress. They can't vote for the president. They can't vote for the senator. The, 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 one of the 50 senators, right? They can't do any of those things. But a Puerto Rican over here can do it. A Puerto Rican over here in Florida, in New York, especially in New York, you know, we have Schumer as our, as our senator. Imagine a million Puerto Ricans. Not even sorry, let's, say, let's say there's half a million Puerto Ricans. Which is not, that's not a small number. That's a good number. That vote, as, as one voting guy say, all right, Schumer, you always had the Latino vote. Always had it. But you never defend the Puerto Ricans. You never push the agenda of the Jones Act to get rid of. Guess what we're going to do this time? Right. We're gonna not, we're, we're gonna vote you out. We're gonna put out five hundred thousand votes to your opponent. Right. Half a million votes is will keep it. It would show 
especially New York, Florida, Texas, where we have a very large voting population. And we can flip a seat. We can flip more seats and say, listen, we can put all the Congress people, or whatever, you want independence, you want to put three officials over here to the public. So, all right, so we just do it over and say, all right, now, now what? Just to show you that a small island can sway a whole system. Just because we're like, no, no, we want to be heard. So now let, you hear us. Let, let, let me try to um, bring this down for like myself, who's not that great in politics and the whole structure and stuff. Basically, it's like the government, the U.S. government said, "Here, we'll give you a governor, so you guys can like play with amongst each other and you know play money and monopoly with each other." in the island but you're not gonna have say in the mainland and we control your land so we have say but if you were born in the u.s and you are heritage as i like to refer it to it is puerto rican then we that live out here that are born here we actually have the influence to put people take out people in power to meet our desire to help them the puerto rican island those towns in the island don't even need to be born here. You need to go to Florida or New York, register, and they can vote. They're Americans. <laughs> say that again. Please say that again. No, no. People of Puerto Rico are Americans. All they have to do is go to the nearest state. Say, I'm going to go to Florida. I'm going to go to, go to New York. I'm going to go to Texas. I'm going to go to Texas. I'm going to go to South Carolina. Big population of Puerto Rico over there. Go over there. I live here. I'm going to put my name on a ballot. I'm going to do it. I live here. Sign. Boom. Just like that. They're Americans. They have the right to vote. They just can't vote, on the, they can't vote in Puerto Rico. They can vote here. And they can they easily have, switch it back if they want it, right? Yeah, just go back home. <laughs> just go back home. Yeah, just go back home. And it's a big thing. But listen, there's a radio of Puerto Ricans. Listen, and sure, and, and, and close, you know, especially in New York. Let's say it's New York. You have Jill Brand as a senator, and you have uh, uh, two many senators, two senators, two Democratic senators. They they hold crazy at all because all of state is really Republican. It's really like the city, it's real Democrat. But what if like the Bronx? The Bronx is like really, really Democrat. Also, it says, you know what? So I'll put it here. We don't want to go Republican. Half a million voting Republicans that already live here. It would fucking shock them. It would shock them. Hmm. They go, they go by the end of the, by the end of this year. It was something like that. That Latinos would be thirty percent of the voting population. We we passed last year. But I think like twenty two percent. We're thirty three percent of the voting population now. So imagine what you can do now, not across the country. Take out one big member. That's what I said. Take out a shooter. Take out a shooter. Take out those people who say, All right, I run the party. You run the party. Where were you when we were getting screwed? Yeah. You were around. You kept the blind eye. Screw you. I'm taking you out. The guy who's in the coup replace you. His whole agenda is about Puerto Rico. Because that's what we made. He has half a million votes to say, hey, No, it's all about Puerto Rico. I got to help Puerto Rico 100%. So, so imagine you do that. So, okay, right. I was going to go to that. I was going to say, imagine all the Puerto Ricans that are living in the mainland right now take a flight and be like, yo, Papa, you know, Maria, I'm going to sleep in your sofa. I'm going to become a citizen. And everybody from over there. Comes over. Already, no, I mean, register that they live in the mainland. That they, everyone who lives over there, they, all of them, the whole island, one day it's like, listen. The whole, the whole island. Let's say three million Puerto Ricans, they all break out. Be like, like, I'm gonna go there. sleep. Yeah. I'm gonna go sleep in my aunt's uh, sofa for a few weeks. For a few weeks. They can come to. They can come to the mainland because they are registered Americans. Yes. They can, they, they can go and say, "Listen, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put my name on the ballot. They I'm gonna go. put my name. One, two, three. I can. They can register. Remember, a lot of states, especially in New York, you trying to do same day registration. I mean, the day you can vote, you can register to vote. Like, all right, here's my name. I put my name on the ballot. Boom, you put. You put it in. It's my license. I'm just going to prove to you. Yeah. I'm an American citizen. And then you can go. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Your world was simple. 
Matter of fact, New York, New York is probably it's it's the one of the worst voting districts in the world, like in the entire United States. But the soon, I don't know, soon into five years, it's going to be where voting is is five days long. You can mail your vote, or you can just vote, like you know, go to a, a, a place and vote like like whatever you want. Right, whatever. Right. In five days, not just one day, five days. You have to vote. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then if you're not in the area, here, here, here. Mm. here's my here, here's my uh, mail in vote. Here you go. Yeah, right, 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 right. So when you go to Puerto Rico, you have to go to Puerto Rico. So you go to the U.S. and you kind of just do what you got to do. You get back. Yeah, right. you just come back and we do the do the same thing in reverse, and you're good. Now, my here's my. Where do you think? What 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 happens from now? Does Vasquez get? Uh, does she resign? Uh, she resigns. She resigns. Yeah, but the she next resigns. the problem is that the person who takes control after that is a guy who's not even old enough to. Uh, I forgot his name. He's not even old enough to actually. He doesn't qualify. Then they have to. Then they have to have an. Then they should. You know, they should. Do. They should have an emergency election, maybe in a month or two. Get some candidates who are about anti-corruption and about. And you know, if their resume is such a government, it disqualifies them immediately. I want people who are just people. Yeah. Run the government, no problem. Just, just get people just, and get ideas. Like that's the whole point. Like, like. I think Puerto Rico was, was so dependent on U.S. on, on U.S. and U.S. banks and U.S. finance to keep the country going. That they just forgot, like, yo, it's their own, it's their own spot. Like, right. They're responsible for their own future, and it, you know, and if you think that the U.S. is going to cover it forever, that's not it's not going to happen because yo, look at like California. There's certain California going bankrupt. And they're like, yo, I got no money. I you know they have to lead to the whole financial issues. Yeah, um, I, I mean, one the Vasquez has, has, has I, I'm looking at articles has stated that she doesn't want to become the the uh, governor. What what have you heard on that on her about her on her and and this whole appointment? She doesn't want the job. I don't blame her because we're gonna find the and she's already she's already in the mix. So people view her as a current politician. Already, because she was supposed to come at the courts, and the courts don't want to clean it up. And the courts are, the, are like the last line of the thing for a people. And she did her job. You know what? They go out too. Mm-hmm. Right. The, 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 the Puerto Rico people need a new election soon. They need people who want to see a difference made. And right now, the, uh, the, the, in the U.S. Code, it's fighting all the that they are. You know, Say that it was done immediately because interest rates are over like a thousand percent. Like, well, you voted for a politician to be there, he promised you money, he delivered, even if it costs you your future. That's what happened. Right. And, but the problem was, no one oversaw him. You guys said, oh, let me do you gotta make it as long as I got money. Right. All right. So, yo, so you know, you, we have to deal with the debt. We have to use as people. As, as, even, even me over here in New York, I should only buy like other products. Like, just to help out the economy. Like, like that's what we should do. As a, as a mainlander, we should go and buy other products. Mm. That's it. It's, I mean, uh, your predictions on where they go now. Does the protest continues? Do what? What? What's your what's your prediction of this? Because it seems to me like, it seems to me like the organized protesting, you know, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. They have they have to accept that their country, that Puerto Rico, is in serious debt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For the 
for the, for those of you who are listening, the noise in the background are the children and family members of uh, Mr. Steven, our guest, who is a yeah, my kids. What? My kids are freaking nuts. Your kids are nuts. <laughs> my kids are nuts. <laughs> um, you know, people don't look at me. Here's what they have to do. And I don't, I know they don't want to hear it, but they have to accept the, that they're in the serious debt and they have to pay their debt back. They have to accept that. But do it by accept and then accept that whatever needs to be done next is in the best interest of their country. Because if you don't do it, like if they say, all right, you want to go accept it, we want to join the nation. We still owe eighty-seven billion dollars. What bank is going to loan you money to even up if you don't want to pay that back? Yep. What was it? What was it? And I, I was looking into something where. You know, there are so many of these businesses that have come in and taken advantage of all these tax loopholes, right? They're coming in and they're paying, uh, they're getting all these tax incentives, these big companies um, or individuals, and they're living it up at a low tax rate. And whereas the citizens, uh, those that are born there, the Puerto Ricans, the natives, they got a sales a sales tax of eleven percent, which I think is the highest in the nation, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and that's just keep, that's just to pay back the interest. Th- that was own. initiated right to, to to help pay back the interest. That at, I mean, at that rate, we'll t- just just keep it that way. You know, we're never going to pay it off at that rate with the amount that we owe and what how the debt keeps growing. It's not going in the right direction. It's going up. It's not going down. And, you know, this whole idea of I'm not Puerto Rican, you're Puerto Rican, and not knowing, like, the ins and outs. You know, you don't even speak the language, so you're even less. You're, like, in the totem of the non-existent. You might as well be a gringo, you know what I mean, to some Puerto Ricans. But here you are. You have a better understanding of how... You, we could actually influence a difference if we take advantage of of un, understanding the system that we we put ourselves in. Now, maybe I couldn't, maybe I shouldn't say we put ourselves in, right? But we sure allowed it to continue. Absolutely, that's the thing, and that's the thing that most Puerto are in denial about, and that's what they're right because you know what, Greece did it, Portugal did it, Italy did it, Italy did it. Like we all. Borrowed money that wasn't theirs, passed their GDP, for the cost of product, and then when 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 the creditors called the mail, I mean, I mean the money back, they were like, "Oh, we don't have it. We're, we don't have it. We can't pay back." Right. Well, guess what? Now, now we have to like pay twenty. Now we gotta, you know, put you on a budget. Now we gotta let us, let's you apply to Greece and that. All the tools are like 600 bucks a person. Why? Amazing. Because they need people over there to spend money. Yeah. They need as many people over there. They do, they're doing all these sales you know, just to get people on, the, on those islands to spend money. You know, when the protests happen, part of the cruises didn't even stop at the island. They broke, they were like, no, guys, we're going around. We're going to stop by somewhere else. That was money they lost. You imagine? That was that was million really, you know, those local business laws. You know, when Carnival was coming, that's that's a big, heavy cash money that only go accepts. And no, those Carnival kind of like, yo, we can't stop here. Yeah. It's crazy. Why not? That's because... I mean, it was peaceful nuts. It was peaceful nuts, but you had Mark Anthony, uh, Mark Anthony out there, you know, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was unpredictable at this point. The boats were like, yeah, turn, was, around, turn around, turn around. I was watching Ricky Martin and... Just doing speeches out there, and I was like, "Being strong," because you know, like, you know, like, you know, this is the people. This is the people doing it. It's all around the world. He looks like Italy. He looks Yeah, it's it's really it is, and in, 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 again, much props to you know doing it, and and I think that I think that I agree with your uh, prediction that it's you know, or I think that. I, and I agree that the the protesting shouldn't stop. They should take it all the way, you know. Um, you know, yeah, take it all the way. Take to it all the way. Stores. Take it to the oh, Americans' yeah. door. Exactly. Take it all the way. Yes. 
you've gone this far. It's half the battle's already done. Take it yeah. all away. You know, let's re let's redo this whole thing. You have the balls literally in the people's courts now, and because we're doing it in a pro, you know, in a peaceful, in a peace, because we're doing it in a peaceful fashion, they can't they can't take us they can't take us down. I say us because I see us as one people. They can't take us down because we are blessed that we're in an era where there's uh, cameras dangling off of people's heads. Um, you know, they can't take us down like they did with the San Juan massacre, for example, right? As, well, long, listen, as long as we're peaceful, they can't pull those things out because the camera's watching. We're not going to fight. We're not going to get violent in this, but we're not going to, we're not leaving until something changes. Imagine, imagine this, imagine this. Listen, imagine with me. Imagine the next Puerto Rican Day Parade next year. This is before the election, this is before the 2020 election. Right, because Puerto Rican Day Parade is what, in July, right? Right, June, July, some of that? In June, yeah, I think the first weekend of June. All right, so imagine, instead of a parade, no Hot 97 there, no uh, uh, 97.9, no sponsors, no nothing like that. Screw it. Instead of becoming a parade, it's a march. A mm. Puerto Rican march wow. for, yeah, and instead of like going down the avenue and stopping like at what, 36th Street, I would straight all the way down to the mayor's mansion and say, hey, listen, we want to be heard. This is from the building, we, we want to be heard. And tell you, take out the Jones Act. We are Puerto Rico. Let us be independent. Let's have a, at least a little more freedom in what we do. Yeah. Just say, listen, 2020 is right there. There's a, there, there, you know, there's a bunch of Congress people who have to be voted every two years. And say, listen, that's 2020. It's right there. Imagine we vote every single one of those people out who have who, who been talking that there's no action. Yeah. yeah, take it a few blocks down, you know. block Not block, but occupy Wall Street. Tell us, you know, yeah. t- tell tell the capital of the world that we want to address this debt. That yeah, not hey, listen, that that finally suits the interest of the people. Absolutely, definitely. Listen, that's the that's the type of uh, two headed monster that the U.S. and those in power don't want to see. But they saw Puerto Rico as an island, so you know enough of the corruption. Let's do it. And then you have the mainland of Puerto Rico and say, and listen, enough of the corruption. Stop trying to soak Puerto Rico for everything it's got. Do, do the right thing. Mm. I, 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 I mean, I. Oh my God, we, we're gonna. You're gonna get shot for just saying this. I'm just. Oh no, somebody's gonna get shot. I'm somebody, not gonna get shot. I'm not getting shot. That's the thing, too, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Ricky Martin was up there. I'm sure if Ricky Martin was up there, and like a foot or two away was his security detail, um, because I mean, look at the history, right? Listen, if that was to happen, it would. I'm putting a parade, a march in New York City, a peaceful march at that, right? Going all the way downtown, all the way to, like you said, right to Wall Street, and saying, you know, enough is enough, stop the corruption. You know, it would be heard around the world that a small island of Puerto Rico stood up to America. Sure. And we could do it, yo. And we'll turn it into a no, party, yo. There'll be, there'll be cuchifritos. There'll be all types of food. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> listen, listen. This is the same thing in Puerto Rico. It's the most peaceful march ever. We just dancing everywhere, hanging out on the streets. But we just with one voice. And listen, cut it out with Puerto Rico. Yo, cut it out. Yo, even even in some of the photos, like when the cops are looking mad hard and mad, like, you know, with the barriers up and whatnot, even them, like, they look like they're having a good time. Yeah, bro, they're Puerto Ricans, man. They're fellow Puerto Ricans. That's, that's why I always try, you know, always try to hide, like, like, if it's a peaceful march, why would you try to harm yeah. someone who's your own person? Yeah. Like, 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 they're not an alien, they're not an immigrant, they're not someone who's going to belong here. That's a person who literally is your own flesh and blood. Like literally, and you know that person's grandma, you know that person's yeah. niece and cousins yeah. and baby daddy who left last year. You know yeah. all that. And you know? the peaceful about it, all these things, all I want is change it from my island. All I want is change from the top down. So, yes, 
That's it amazing. Was like, you know, I'm down with you. Let's do it. Like, yeah, this is the way it should be. That's amazing. But you know what? It's corruption everywhere, man. Terrible. That's pretty amazing. I'm going to put up my mic a little bit because I don't think I'm being heard. Um, <laughs> and I got the I got a chair that needs some serious WD-40, so I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Ew. Um, wow, yeah. That's that's such a... Uh, dude, I was... So I wanted to do this yesterday, and I, I barely slept. And I was like... I was going to call you and be like, yo, let's do this again. Because I also got our mutual friend, George, or knowing George, constantly calling me because it's like some edit audit and whatever but so i was like yo i gotta do this because i gotta talk about a puerto rico I, I, it's you know what i mean oh you know what say what you want to say i'm not puerto rican in in your eyes because you don't understand how this thing works um and what benefit and, and like you this you clearly explained we have a unique opportunity of taking advantage of the system to suit our to really make an impact for us so whatever you don't consider me puerto rican and maybe that's the problem maybe maybe we need to reanalyze of who we are as a people maybe we need to start loving on each other a little bit more you know what i mean if i'm proud of being puerto rican how does that take away from you shouldn't it add you know what i mean there's a matter of puerto rico and i hear you to them that they want to stick to the culture they want to stick to like you know them being a uh, latino uh, and listen, you will never, you will never, ever, ever tell me say Latin X that some old crap white chick want to pull up. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, the old genderless thing, you know, it's Latino. All right, we have genders in our words, right? So, going to Puerto Rico last year was the deal for, deal for that. You know, it was it was really right after the hurricane. Um, I went and you know, uh, up here, you know they. They're holding strong to their language. They're holding strong to their roots. And the part of me was like, you know, you tell me, you know, you know you're learning, like, you should speak English. But yeah, at the same time, I'm like, you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Mm. I get it. Yeah. You want to hold on to your culture. You don't want to lose it. I get that. But you also, they also understand that they're American, just like me. They have the same rights, just like me. And they can make a difference. Mm. They have a huge difference, and we can make a huge difference. We just have to unite on the one idea, and that idea is, you know, let's take out these fake ass democratic people, uh, politicians that say they represent us, but they don't do anything for us. Yeah. Um, I have to make the Spanish thing over here on the only side. Uh, I, I don't know her name. Uh, I had a friend who, uh, who ran against her. She had a heavy accent. She's been there for like 15 years. Always gets reelected like, as a congresswoman. And, you know, she was the first one to cry out, Jones Act, Jones Act, Jones Act, when it became a problem. But I'm like, wait a minute. This thing was done 30 years ago. Why, like, where were you then? Like, mm. why did you say something then? Why is this coming why up now? Why did you fight everything? Yeah, every like, only two of them became a problem that, wow. And now it's all the all that. Now that you want to get in the headlines, now you want to get in front of the cameras, now you want to shout? I just want to scream. You should have screamed from the day one. Yeah. And then that, you, you're in a neighborhood that's all Latino, that's all for you, that's in the bar, that you say, listen, we can vote anybody in we want, anybody out we want, but the people who are voting in and out are people that work for us. And these people, they, you know, they go to Washington, and they, they just, you know, they forget about us. They right. forget about, oh, like, 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 who they represent. And no one, man, it, like, you know, it, I like I I just see why people don't vote. Right. But like, you know, we, as, you know, uh, here in the US, it's like a thirty percent, forty percent voting population. You know? And like in Australia, you have to go for the president if you want to vote or not. So like their presidential election is like a hundred percent voted. Like everyone votes because they want to get that fired. Here in the US, oh, you have a choice. Thirty percent still. Three percent because people are like, yo, why would I vote for somebody who's just gonna do their own thing up there? Yeah. Why would I vote for a Latino or a Latina to represent me, but they still don't represent me? Yeah. And why aren't why aren't the mainlanders letting why are the mainlanders and uh why aren't the mainlanders the people who were born in Puerto Rico, why aren't they reaching out to those who have a vote? 
and can make serious changes on this side of the pond. Um, why are we why are we leaning on each other? How do we get the current generation, all Puerto Ricans, to learn that they're a little bit of their history of who who we are as a people? How do we get how do we get you know the, this current generation to then also understand how the system works to to then collaborate? Look, we're great at getting together, bringing the food, bringing the music in a peaceful way. How do we take advantage of that unity to educate us? Because that's one thing they can't take away from us. And and we could sit here and say, you know, we you know th- things were taken away from us. We were we were um, conquered, right? Then we reconquered, traded off, you know. But right now, the bowl, like I said, the bowl is our, in our court. How do we get us to take this hype? And turning it to a moment where people can up their understanding of where our situation is and how we could take advantage of it. Who's going to step up to the plate? Because that's, you said we got to gather around an idea. But, you know, we also need a leader. Someone, someone to, you know, be the voice. And. No, yes. Who, who is that person? Who's willing to take that bullet? Because it might come down to that. And you know what? Yes, yes. We need someone who's who's going to look out and represent the people, continue to represent the people no matter what, and be a great communicator of, the, of an idea or ideas that represent us as a collective. I don't know who it is. I haven't seen any Spanish, you know, Puerto Rican uh, politician who's, uh, or, you know, or, or activist. You know, that just says, listen, I just want to get what's best for Puerto Rico. I want a socialist. I want this. I want that. I want to shoot people. Ah, relax. Yeah. I just want someone who's going to be like, listen, us as Puerto Rico, we are peaceful people, but we want to do things right. We're going to get together and do things right as a people. Yeah. You know, we're going to reach out to, like you said, reach out to those people on the mainland to get our votes heard over there. And to know is, that when you vote for me, that, that when you vote for yourself, you also vote for me on the mainland who don't have a vote. Right. And, you know, continue like that and, and, like, and really burn that message through because that's the big thing. Like, that's, that's the thing where we got to, like, communicate this message daily. Yeah, it you has know? to be like, no. it has to be like us, some of us Puerto Rican who are, you know, putting up a new meme or a new post every, every like, five minutes on Instagram. Right, it got to be someone who's yeah, on fire yeah. for this, and yeah, you know, you know and was, this. And t- and tell me about the celebrity stat. Yes, you know? go ahead. The celebrities, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, you know, not to do celebrity stats, but you definitely need people who are going to be like, listen, uh, I'm only here for one reason, and that's just uh, the, the 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 problem. The problem with bringing someone up like that. Is that they always get sucked into every other, to all the other politics of life? Did you vote for Trump? Did you not vote for Trump? Do you believe in immigration or you don't believe in immigration? Yeah. Do you believe in you know? Uh, Listen, uh, I think uh, I think that right now though they got to stick to the mainland. We got to. That's focus. what I'm talking about. That's, 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 don't get caught up in that. Right. It literally has to be the only issue in their mind. Yeah, listen, th- I hear you about immigration. That's another type of subject. I'm here about Puerto Rico. Yeah, this is about that's Puerto it. Rico. That's and you know, t- t- so you. So one of my thing, one of my questions was, how do we educate the the, pe- the the people? Because this is not the first time that an attempt has been made in trying to bring change to to the island and the relationships between the island and and, and the USA. Um, and the method that was used before was peaceful. People got shot down for no reason. Um, and then they went. Um, tell us a little bit about the book. Um, and how you know we tried the method of I believe uh, you know the the revolutionists who who attempted to kill the president, right? Yeah, they tried to kill the president. They tried to kill the president. So in this, and obviously that didn't work, right? Obviously, <laughs> I mean you don't even need to know the history to know that obviously that didn't work because for those Americans that do know their history, <laughs> that, that didn't happen, right? It was an attempt, right? Who was the president? I don't remember. I wonder if it was Ford. Um, 
Yo, that whole scenario of how he went up and they were, you know, shooting up, it was like, you could see, like, I was like, yo, they got to make a movie out of this. It would be awesome. <laughs> Tony Montana kind of thing, even though we lose. <laughs> even though we lose, it was so dope. It would be so dope. I'm sorry. Um, I did the audio book, so I had to replay it, you know, and I made the guy's voice deeper. Um, but <laughs> so, but yeah, I, part of that is yo read the book. What's the book called again? Um, and 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 it's a good read. It gives you a real a, a real, it gives you a good outline um, of of our history, um, and it explains uh, later on. It explains a little bit about um, you know where the sources came from and how the book you know came to be. Um, Domino Sugar, right? Yep. Domino Sugar. Please explain that to them. Oh no, no, I didn't, no, I, um, I didn't get that far. I just knew that we, that Puerto Ricans were the original farmers of the U.S. Yes. Because it was so easy to go back home. Yeah. It wasn't like that. we had to do all the paperwork. Yeah, yeah. They literally got all the farmers from the U.S. from from the island. They said, "Listen, we need to, to do our crop to take care of our crops," and we're like, "Yeah, sure, we'll do it." Went over there, did the crops, and said, all right, you know, now is the downtime of the season. We're going back to Puerto Rico and we're going to hang out there. No problem. We'll be right back. Right. Like, we, we're responsible for so many upbringing in this. Like, <laughs> like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. So now they're saying, America was built on the back of slavery. Like, we were there, too. Yeah. Like, so as we were there, too. Puerto Ricans were there too. So we helped build the church up as well. And we're proud of it. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, we don't want this country to go down. We don't want this country to in the past. We want this country to be prosperous. We want this country to be prosperous. We're prosperous. Yeah. And you know what? That same that same mentality to go back to this this division of this perspective of who's Puerto Rican and who's not, you know, it serves us no good. And it's so petty that we really need to put that aside. Like, the issue for the motherland, if you want to consider it, is dear to me. And if it's dear to me, then you should include me into this agenda, this this force, this opportunity to actually bring change to the island. We got to put that yeah. to the side. That's petty stuff. If anything, that's what they want from us, right? They want us to be divided. They want us to consider one. What, they, they want us to be divided in this idea of who we are as a people. We're Puerto Ricans. The struggle of getting who we are, we've been, um, our original essence of who we are has been uh, uh, raped, forced, it's been, but we still have that one thing that we have in common, and that's the love for this island, for no reason, you know what I mean? Yeah, I wasn't born there, but when I hear my parents and I learn about their history and their experiences growing up on a mountainside, you know, like a hibaro, like they say hibaros, right? Um, you know, it's, it's 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 I love it. I'm so proud. And instead of taking this petty issue, we really need to put that down and not allow them to use those kind of small petty things to divide us when we're so many, we're so strong, and we're peaceful about it. We just want change. That's really great. That's really great. I just know it. I see my ear open for uh, any uh, politician, activist, per- persona that you know that wants to uh, pick up this uh, leadership part and really like fight for Puerto Ricans and fight for America. Now, because I don't Puerto Rican, I don't, I don't speak a little Spanish. I don't speak a little bit, but yo, when I'm in Puerto Rico, I feel closer to home. Like it's something inside of me where I'm like, yo, this is this is where this is where my family's from. My father left Puerto Rico when he was 11. My mother left Puerto Rico when she was 8. Mm, wow. And no one what you going to do. And because of that, there's, a, there's, a, there's an attachment. There's a huge attachment that I have to this. Yeah. There is. And, 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 and again, those are the things that should bring us closer together, not separate us. You know, you know, you know, it, 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 you know sometimes I, 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 I marvel not just as as Puerto Ricans, as, as as a Puerto Rican rather, American Puerto Rican, um, but I, uh, I I I come in contact with other Latin races, and I'm just like, 
you know, I use a phrase like mi gente because we're all considered Latinos, right? You know, just like we don't have time to separate all the white people, Germans, Irish, you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't have time for that. And and it's the same thing is true the way they look at us. Like, y'all Latinos, right? They don't have time to figure out that if you're Mexican or Puerto Rican, y'all the same, y'all Latinos. You're a lot in person. You know, and I'm, even in that sense, I'm proud. You know, and the cultures and the differences and the... You know what I mean? It's just something about that Caribbean, that that Spanish um, uh, background that that we could all relate to in one way or another, and I think that's that's what should hold us together. Um, and and really, this is the time. And it, my fear that is that okay, you know this this person steps in, Ms. Vasquez, whatever the case may be, and you know we just they just forget. Everybody goes home until the next you know text message gets revealed about something crazy hey man totally agree totally totally agree with you bro that's my that the flame is you know it, that the flame burns out the peaceful flame that's you know resonating uh, to this country and many people around you know that that because we Puerto Ricans yo we mix in every race so you know there's so many that that are Puerto Rican Chinese, Puerto Rican, you know, African, Puerto Rican, you name it. I've seen probably all of it. You know what I mean? That still hold dear to that that cultural side of their their history. You know, we this this is a calling. If you're that, like you said, if you're that person that believes you have that voice and is willing to stand up, politician, experienced, non-experienced, somebody stand up. You know, and and let's support. You know this this movement for change. That's pretty yeah. much how I feel feel about it. You know, my son doesn't speak Spanish either. I'm ashamed of it, right? But you know, um, you know, I, my goal is to pass down what why he's who he is, and that has to do with you know our history and 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 all those sacrifices. Like you said, your mother was eight years old. Can you imagine coming out here? You know, living. From there, you know, my my mother lived on a mountainside. She her birth certificate has a made up date, the date that they managed to get to the hospital to uh, register her as a human being that was born. So she doesn't even know. Her, <laughs> she doesn't even know her original birthday. But I mean, where would I be without that? Without her? Without her? So uh, it's crazy. Um, it it is crazy. Um, but again, if that flame dies, it was for nothing. Really, we didn't do anything. Yeah, not you know we didn't accomplish anything really. Hundred percent, everybody. Hundred percent, man. What um, what uh, what uh, what do you got going on for the rest of the summer? Uh, just working a little bit. Me and my wife and I all wait for our next weekend for our twelfth anniversary. Nice. Uh, flash for birthday. Oh um, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so we're going to go away for a little bit. Uh, 40, I turned 40 on in October. So we're going to go away for a weekend, enjoy it for the rest of summer. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to stay you know, and just keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. I love what they're showing Puerto Rico. I love uh, all the new coverage that we're getting, you know. Um, I just hope they keep up with it. I hope the people over there keep up with uh, being involved. Yes, what's going on locally? Like you know, where is the money? Always track where the money is going. You know, this uh, sixty billion dollars, forty-five billion dollars. You know, this could be really rebuild Puerto Rico two times over. And we should, and we should do that of it and say, all right, let's get it done, and and then let's see what the future holds for us. Because guess what? You know, it, it's our home. Right. And again, you know. Uh, uh, I'm going to see how I can reach out to people in Puerto Rico and where we can get by Puerto Rican goods. So if we can keep the economy over there, keep rolling around. You know, I think they said uh, uh, Puerto Rico makes something like $60 billion in drugs, medical products. So it's not... In pharmaceuticals, not, right? Yeah, like, I never did. Like, the, the, yeah. the entire business culture over there. So it's like, they make money. They, like, you know, it's a thriving economy. So let's feed into that. As a people, as a nation, and you know, and the American jobs there, you know, you know, 
definitely But the thing is that that right. So we went from uh, the 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 people went from being uh, I go um, what's the word I'm using? They 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 lived off the soil. So we were we were providing initially produce to um to the mainland, and then. Um, people left the farms and these factories were built in the pharmaceutical industries and then making produce, right? And then what happened? It was cheaper. These business owners found that it was cheaper labor to go to China or that's when the whole Clinton thing was, what was it called? Um, where, you know, it was allowing companies to go out and build factories and, and do business in other countries. I forgot the term. It was part of the Clinton administration. Um, and, um, so once that happened, people didn't go back to the farms, and that's when we. That's when it would. Well, all no. we had left was tourism. Well, I, I mean, again, tourism, tourism is important. Tourism is important. Um, you know, there's, there's so much more there. Right. There's so much more we can do. There's so much more that can happen. We just have to have the right minds, have the right people, have the right investment. You know, and again, it's a lot of ifs, but if we, if we start thinking in the context of we the people and us as a, us as a people and accountability with one another, it can't be done. Right. And, you know, America is a perfect product of showing what can happen when people say, all right, let's let ingenuity come in, let's. It's sacrifice. It's push. It's push. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely true. When we're, when we're, we're Americans, um, Puerto Ricans, um, we've we've shown that when our back are against the wall, we can come together to shine. It's 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 there. If you know your history, this is an opportunity for us. Yeah, for us Puerto Ricans, whether no matter where you were born, it to to be heard, to be a part of this thing, and you know. Um, we, 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 if we, as long as we do it with our hands up and our hearts open, with clear, you know, nonviolent intentions, then, they, like I said, there's, there's way too many cams out there for anything to, you know, we just, we just gotta keep the fire lit, um, and then, and if the people aren't happy, and, and you know, with the, with you know, this recent appointment, um, then we, yeah, like you said, keep it going, keep it going. Mark Anthony has to stay in, 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 uh, in the mainland for longer times. Keep the party going, keep the music going, keep the celebration going. Um, because I, I, I think that this can go a long way. But again, my only fear is that it just dies out and people just go back to accepting what is. Yep, great man. I'm no, sure. you, you said you were turning 40? Damn, son. 40, man. 40, October. Gosh. You're not afraid of death, right? No, right. I'm neither. Neither am I. I was watching uh, Bad Boys. Uh, that's on some whatever program, and it has like a, a lot of death and whatnot. And um, and, I, and and all of a sudden, I'm like, damn, yo, I'm gonna die. Meanwhile, I'm not even. You know, I'm 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 good with that. But just like I got caught up in the moment, almost started crying. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> my issue is, I issue that dying. My issue is. Dying before, uh, dying too young, like, like, I don't have time to waste years left. I don't have time to do that. I'm just trying to tie in me. I'm like, I was going to stretch this out. Uh, uh, but also, not doing what I was meant to do. That's, that's, that's the only fear. Mm. You know, like, what am I, like, and like, like, what am I here for, if you ever think? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A cosmic, you know, idea, but, you know, but at the same time, you know, it's about uh, just, just to, if there's something I have to do, then I want to do it and be like, all right, that's, that, like, that's my point in life. And then, you know. That you accomplished, but that not necessarily that you leave a legacy, but that you accomplished what you felt you set out. Yeah, you that, set out to yeah, do. That's what, because that's I was what gonna I, say, like, bro, if that's your thing, you know, they say that after three generations, you're forgotten. Like, you know, your great great grandfather's yeah, no, 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 name. No, 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 I don't care about that. <laughs> no, 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 I don't care about that. I care about like, you know, like, 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 if I just want to strip my family up to be like prosperous, 
Right. But I put them on, I put them on that path. I don't know if I follow somebody on that path to do, to do things right. You know what I'm saying? Got you. You know, so, so what's next? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. what's next? What's up? That's the point. That's the goal, right? To leave. That's the goal, yeah. To leave a, a better, a, a be, to leave a version of yourself that has a a better head start than you had. Yep. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Yo. Hundred percent. Yo, bro. Um, I know you're with the family, and I know your wife doesn't like me as it is, and um, so I don't. <laughs> <want it. laughs> And she, you know, I had a conversation with her I'm trying to get her on the show. And, you know, she, you know not everyone's like with it. They, I, you know, being on and the whole, you know, not everyone's a a mic person. But um, this format is so much easier because we're just shooting the bridge on the phone, really. I'm over yeah. here doing this whole show out there on the show. So it's just us talking. You know what I mean? Um, besides, it's only going to be like three people that listen to us, me, you, and Noel. So, um yeah, I mean, we'll definitely, definitely want to have you on again. And, um, you know, the minute this thing turns, you know, hopefully there's, you know, uh, there's an opportunity for us to to uh, talk again because, you know, the movement took it to the next level and took it to the doors of of uh, of our government. Yep. You know, that, that'll be dope to see, man. In our lifetime? Oh, my gosh. So... That's pretty much it. Like I said, we are the basementny.com, now part of the network Inconsistent Media. I'm going to cover all that later on. Um, we're going to be bringing you more shows. Um, we're going to be discussing topics about Christianity, um, the view of the Christian, the, 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 the values of the Christian life, identifying what a Christian is. In regards to how we treat thy neighbor, in particularly, um, I'm hoping to have guests who um, are trying to follow the faith and are struggling with um, with their sexuality and their identity. Um, I think that's a real big issue right now, and I think it's a it's a unique blessing to bring someone's perspective who's actually dealing with it, you know. Um, and uh, hopefully that that comes into fruition soon. Uh, where the basementny.com, you could still go to that website. It'll direct you to inconsistent media and we'll update the website. Steven Sanabria, um, I know you were looking to do a podcast. So, this, like I said, uh, we had this conversation. Um, it'll be dope. Uh, we should sit down and talk more about that. And um, please leave your comments. Let us know what you think. Do you agree with this whole notion of you know you're not puerto rican because you weren't born there do you think where do you think this whole movement is going where does it end does it die um and um let us know what's up um as always steven thanks for coming by and uh guys be blessed out there you know right now is an interesting time to be alive you know we have this unique opportunity to have a voice so be heard steven love you talk to you next time uh, Peace. Later, Peace. bro. Peace. Peace. Inconsistent.